This is partly this idea about innovator for life, this idea of building up momentum is partly about starting good habits. So just as you could start now, you know, with a good habit that relates to health and wellness. If you could, starting today, eat edamame, as we do at our house, you might imagine, instead of uh, potato chips or pork rinds or whatever your, uh, your snack of choice is, if you could do that and start that habit and continue it on, that would contribute to your health and wellness over the course of your life. Right? In the same way, you can start mental or behavioral habits that will help you be an innovator for life. And so it's really about forming habits now that are going to help you that are going to help you later on. And I came up with five habits. I'm sure if you put your mind to it, you could come up with a lot more. But for purposes of the time we have available to us, I think five will be plenty. You want it to be seven plus or minus two, if you've read that research. And so uh, five, uh, nice and easy. And the first one, one of maybe my favorite of them, is think like a traveler. Right? It's easy for me to do this. I spend 100 nights a year away from home, and so I think like a traveler all the time. I, I'm on a plane. but. What I mean when I say think like a traveler is, ever notice when you go to a distant city, especially when you travel internationally, ever notice that there's a piece of your brain that is turned up on high, right? You're in this hyper aware state where you notice everything. Right? You notice how the coins and the money is different. It's all better than the money in America, by the way. You know, it's a, we got a, a billion graphic designers or something in America. This is the best we can do. Our money is all green. I can't figure that out. But <laughs> anyhow, coins, we can't do the dollar coin. Anyhow, don't get me started. So you notice that the money is different. You notice the shoes are different. In fact, when you're overseas, it's almost the surefire way to spot an American is look at their shoes. I don't know why. We, we always have different shoes than people in Europe or Asia. Or, Whatever. You notice the way they serve coffee is different. You notice the trains are different. You, you know, little bits of things in your brain is on high alert. It must have something to do with evolution or you know, looking out for predators or something. Because when you are traveling internationally, that part of your brain is super active, right? And uh, you know, Tina, I don't know if anybody realizes this, actually a neuroscientist, I bet she could tell us which part of the brain it is. I don't really care. All I'm saying is whatever part of that brain is that is super active when you're traveling internationally, try to turn up that part of your brain all the time, right? Because if, if you can do that, if you can have a higher state of awareness that people around you have, you will spot more opportunities and those opportunities will, val will have value for you. So, you know, if you can observe more, if you can, if you can learn more, if you can get a better or more up-to-date, we'll come back to that in a minute, a more up-to-date view of human behavior, that gives you power, that gives you credibility as an innovator. Because something that's gonna happen to most of the students in the room is you're gonna someday soon join an organization in which people are twice your age and have 10 times your experience. And they will mentally try to use that against you, right? And you might find that ever so slightly intimidating. But just remember this, if you capture your ideas, if you write them down, if you, you know, find some way not to have your observations run down the drain, and everybody's got a different way of doing this. For me, shows you how old I am maybe. It's, for me, it's a piece of paper. It's a little pad in my back pocket. But for you, it could be something on your smartphone. It could be something on your laptop. It could be something in your blog. But if you can capture those things and then use them as you, as you try to make contributions to organizations, you've got to remember, you are the world you know, undisputed expert of your own experience. So try to capture the lessons from your experiences. You will be able to use those in, in organizational settings. So that's this idea about, about uh, thinking like a traveler. You know, I think uh, Yogi Berra, former catcher for the New York Yankees, I, was a, he kind of addressed this issue when he said, you can observe a lot by watching. And I like Yogi Berra. He liked that phrase so much, he, that's what he called his book, by the way. But I think I get more value from this other guy, from this writer, Marcel Proust, who said, the real act of discovery consists not in finding new lands, that's traveling, right? But in seeing with new eyes, which is thinking like a traveler. And wow, th this seeing with new eyes thing, it gets harder. The older you get, the harder this becomes.